hope that helps. Bakari, a uh, question for you, sir. You're from South Carolina, a state that witnessed one of the worst hate crimes in, in modern history. Um, this question I asked earlier, are, are you optimistic about where we are as a nation, pessimistic, and, and how do you think we turn no. the corner? No, I'm very optimistic. I think it has a lot to do with my youth. I think that one of the benefits and one of the things that we bring, that young people bring to this discussion and political discourse is first, we still think we're invincible. I think everybody goes through that, that period where there's nothing that can defeat us. And then one of the things that we have over our uh, more seasoned individuals who are attempting to participate in this conversation is that young people still believe in words like hope, love, truth, justice, and peace. And many people who are like 40 either don't care about it anymore or are jaded by reality or are simply forgotten. Um, and so young people, we keep those virtues and hold them true. Um, and, and I can't stop because I actually knew Clemente Pinckney. He was my state senator. Um, when I was running for lieutenant governor, one of my last stops on the campaign trail, as we all know in the South, um, Senator, you know this, it was a fish fry. And we had a fish fry at the AME church that he was the pastor. At. Um, and I was talking about being tired. And as Clem always says with this big booming voice, you know, just keep moving forward. Um, when I found out that the shooting, um, I had just left Secretary Clinton at a fundraiser. I was headed back up I-26 from Charleston to Columbia, uh, found out that nine people had been shot, got some communication that had happened at the church. I was one of those um, phones that rang. Everyone talks about when the massacre happened, individuals, that, when the law enforcement went in, their phones were ringing because people were trying to call and get a hold of them. Well, I, I called Clem and I was one of those phones ringing and it broke the hearts of everyone. And I heard Governor Kasich, who's a friend of mine, by the way, I, I disagree with Governor Kasich's politics, but I love Governor Kasich as a man. And so I start with the love first. And so the politics, we can get the things that we agree on. Um, and he was talking about the forgiveness of the community. Um, well, some of us haven't forgiven. Um, there still is a lot of a lot of frustration and the question that I have and it's a question that even my woke brother here uh, didn't quite answer or my pastor didn't quite answer and it's a question that I've grappled with and I'm not sure the answer to but it's it's how can someone 21 years of age have more hate in their heart in 2015 than George Wallace and so as we grapple with this we have to understand that that is a real life question and the only way that I know that I can answer that question or treat whatever illness or sickness that is, is to have a level of empathy first, which is very difficult to do when somebody slaughters your friends. But you have to have a level of empathy. You have to uh, get out of your silos. And I have to tell that individual my story because there are people who like to act like they woke and say, I ain't going to say his name, Dylan Roof. You know, I, ain't, I just ain't going to say it. Well, I say it. Because y'all need to remember that there are people out there like that. That although, you know, you have people whose minds have been poisoned, and although they may not carry out these acts, you have that much hate in some people's hearts. And it's been troubling me to my core as to how that can get that way at this point in our, in our lifetimes. And I, I'm not ashamed to know I don't know the answer, but I'm proud to say that at least I'm, I'm putting forth action to try to. Now we must act. Use the hashtag Let's Bridge. We welcome your donations to the King Center on our Facebook page or dreamforwardfund.org. That's dreamforwardfund.org. We also give special thanks to our sponsor, the AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Special thanks to our partner, the Martin Luther King Jr. Advisory Council. Let's bridge young people this summer with Camp Now. For more information, Visit us at choosenonviolence.org.